love bugs i am back with another video welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time checking me out hello my name is shawnique martinez hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime i do any type of upload so you guys i am going to be doing another hair care video you guys seem to really like those videos so last week no like almost two weeks I did an Olaplex review so I will link that in the description box and the cards above so you guys can check that out let me know what you think and today we're going to be checking out a new shampoo that I found in Target so I have not checked out this review I have not checked out this brand I don't know anything about these products I literally wanted to do a true first impression to tell you guys what I think about these products well I think about this product itself before I venture off and buy anything else from the brand so I'm always kind of leery when I see cleansing shampoos that don't strip your hair if they're like a true good cleanser so we're gonna see how this product works out I actually the only thing I did on this product was to look up how to pronounce the actual brand name so I had an assumption but I didn't want to assume so I went to the creators page and I heard how she pronounced it so that's how we're gonna go <laughs> so I'll zoom in on the product it is by the do it's the no scrubs exfoliating shampoo this is part of their wash and go collection this product you got eight fluid ounces for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents i picked it up from target i did not bother to research if you could buy it from anywhere else sorry about that i just saw them in target so this product says it prepares the hair and scalp for optimal moisture retention by gently lifting products residue and dead skin cells to review softer shinier hair it says the non, it's non-stripping and non-drying. It has honey, green tea, tea tree, and vitamin C. The application process is you apply a quarter size amount to wet hair, massage it from root to ends, rinse and repeat if necessary. So you guys, during the application process, you are actually gonna see me kind of detangle my hair. The shampoo doesn't claim to be a detangler. So I went ahead and brushed it, brushed it out a little bit just for my own sanity so I'm not trying to detangle lean detangle my hair with a shampoo that doesn't claim to be a detangler so you guys keep on watching I'm gonna tell you if this is fine hair low porosity dry girl hair friendly and you know we'll see My hair is actually in a bun I'm gonna tell you why it's in a bun I put it in a bun well let me just jump into what I thought of the product first of all so the product itself you open it up it does have a good lather it smells a lot like tea tree the tea tree did come through very very strong it is a decent consistency it's not too heavy not too fine you guys, what I will say is I only washed my hair with this once. It did get out the build up. My hair was so dirty. I had a bunch of oils in my hair. I had all kind of stuff. That was, my hair was like at a, like a week and a half old wash and go, which shame on me because I normally wash my hair once a week. But that wash and go had been through everything in life. I will say, so that brings me to my hair real quick. I threw it up in a bun 
because my hair just looked like the Sahara Desert. Um, I feel like I kind of missed the part where it said non-stripping, non-drying. I actually went and currently right now I have a conditioner in my hair. Not the one that I'm going to deep condition with, but just a normal conditioner because my hair was so dry. I can't even... I didn't even notice if it was soft because my hair was just dry. It was extremely, extremely dry. And so I was like, no, there's no way. Um, so I went ahead and put conditioner in my hair and threw it up in a bun so I can finish out this review. I will say if you have oily hair, this probably will not strip much from your hair. It will cleanse it. If you have already very dry hair like myself, my hair is very dry. It depends on the deep conditioners and the oils to retain and obtain moisture. This was just a, it was a lot. It, it was very, very powerful. It just, I felt as though it did strip my hair. And um, yeah, yeah. I felt like it did actually strip my hair, which is not one of the claims on the bottle. The claims actually say non-stripping. So I'm not gonna say this is a total loss for somebody. If you have very oily hair, which a lot of people do have oily hair, this is actually probably gonna be a better product for you. If you have drier hair like myself, this wouldn't be necessarily the thing to go ahead and pick up. I will say though, it does cleanse very well. So I was actually really, really happy with that. It's definitely a great exfoliating, cleansing shampoo. It does exactly that part. But well, nine times out of ten, when you find a really good exfoliating shampoo, it really does kind of strip your hair. So I was actually kind of expecting that going into it. Um, that's why I didn't bother to watch any reviews. I already kind of had like a pre-assumption, especially when I noticed that it said tea tree. Tea tree usually dries out my hair no matter what it's in. And that proved to be right so if you are not a tea tree girl and it usually dries your hair out it will probably do the same thing for you now if tea tree does great in your hair and you never have that problem this is probably the product for you so i still think this product is for somebody it's just not for me particularly so sound off in the comments let me know if you guys tried anything else from this brand i'm actually going to still buy other things from this brand even though i will not repurchase this but i will still use this but this was definitely a very, very drying product for me. But until next time, y'all, bye.